And if you've noticed something different about our community's typically bright green bamboo, you're witnessing something very rare happening right now in Central Virginia. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug joining us live now to explain why our bamboo is now turning brown. Sierra. Well, Heather, I want you to take a look at this big wall of brown behind me. It's almost like this entire plot is sepia toned. Now that's because this bamboo is going through a rare flowering process. You can see the buds right here. It makes the plant almost unrecognizable. From bright green to brown, whether in Chesterfield, Hanover or Petersburg, you may have noticed a drastic shift in the pretty but invasive bamboo speckling Central Virginia. My first impression was that that they were dying. Local professor and biologist John Hayden traveled around the state this summer and noticed the gloomy shift in coloration. He consulted with colleagues and learned the plants were covered in seedlings, meaning this invasive species was going through a rare flowering cycle. This has not happened with this kind of bamboo very often, maybe almost never at all, <laughs> previous to this year. And when it rains, it pours. The idea is that by waiting a long time and then making many, many, many seeds, there are more seeds that than all of the birds and all of the mammals can consume. So the plant can keep spreading. Hayden tells me the interval between flowering can be as long as 130 years. So it's both exciting and potentially concerning. Bamboo tends to alienate all surrounding species. The bamboo plants themselves do very little to support native wildlife. But it's also possible the flowering could have a positive impact. It may well be the case that the original bamboo patch, the one that's flowering now, those plants may mostly die. Either way, it's something the expert has never seen before. So we could be witnessing history. We don't really know what to expect. Dr. Hayden tells me he's always heard about the process, but he's never actually seen it firsthand until now. He's hoping to collect samples so we can all learn more. For now, 11 Chesterfield, Sierra Krug, 8 News. All right.